Bet and Yimmel Dalit, Hey and Bob and Zion, Chet and Tet and Yod and Kaf, Lamit and Moon Summit Ayin, Pay and Sade, Kof and Reis, Sin and Sheen and Tav. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. It's Matthew, and I'm back to teach you all some Hebrew. In today's story, Joseph's family comes to Egypt because, as his brothers tell Pharaoh, Ain mir a, there is no pasture. The word mir a means pasture. Repeat it after me: mir a, mir a. And the word ain means there is not or there are not. Ain. Ain. Sometimes the vowels get longer and ain is pronounced ain, but it is usually just ain. The opposite of ain is yesh, which means there is or there are. Yesh. Yesh. Pharaoh tells Joseph, if you know that there are yesh, capable men among your brothers, make them chief herdsmen over my livestock. A couple months ago, in the Hebrew lesson for Genesis 39, I taught you the expression yeshlo, he has. Literally, yeshlo means yesh, there is, lo, to him, which is how you say he has in Hebrew. Also, you can change the vav at the end, the o sound, to make yeshli, I have, and yeshla, she has. Since ain is the opposite of yesh, we can swap them in this expression and say ain lo, he does not have, ain li, I do not have, or ain la, she does not have. Now let's learn a couple more endings. The ending for we or us is nun vav, nu. Yesh li is I have, but yesh la nu is we have. And the ending for they or them is he, mem, him. He does not have is ain lo, and they do not have is ain lahem. Now let's learn a couple more words. One word used a lot in today's chapter is zone, which means sheep or flocks. Repeat it after me. Zone. Zone. Now look at the picture on the screen. Do these people have sheep? If they do, say yesh lahem, they have zone, sheep. Yesh lahem zone. And if they don't, say ain lahem, they don't have zone, sheep. Ain lahem zone. These people do have sheep, so the answer is yesh lahem zone. They have sheep. A word that is often used together with zone, sheep, is bakar, cattle or herds. Repeat it after me. Bakar. Bakar. Look at the picture again. Do the people have a herd of cows? If they do, say yesh lahem, they have bakar, cattle. Yesh lahem bakar. And if they don't, say, Ain lahem, they do not have, bakar, cattle. Ain lahem bakar. These people do not have any cows, so the answer is, Ain lahem bakar. They do not have cattle. Let's end by learning a couple more words of things your family may or may not have. The word for garden is gan. Gan. Now, answer my question. Does your family have a garden? If you do, say yesh lanu, we have gan, a garden. Yesh lanu gan, we have a garden. And if you don't, say ain lanu, we do not have gan, a garden. Ain lanu gan. We don't have a garden. Let's also learn the word for pool. 
In Hebrew, pool is Bereka. Bereka. Does your family have a pool? If you do, say Yeshlanu. We have Bereka. A pool. Yeshlanu Bereka. We have a pool. And if you don't, say Einlanu. We do not have Bereka. A pool. Einlanu Bereka. We do not have a pool. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you all enjoyed and that you all have a blessed week. Shabbat Shalom.